Welcome to our tutorial about the contour flange and contour roll tools. Let's begin as usual by creating a profile to which we'll apply the tools. Something like this. Right click, done. And now let's create two lines. I'm going to use them as axes. One up here. Right click, done. Activate the line tool again. And my next line down here. Right click, done. Let's exit the sketch. Take an isometric view. Let's activate the contour flange tool. Profile selector is active. First we select our profile. Here's our preview. We can reverse or flip the sides if needed. And we can reverse the direction of the flange also. Distance, let's make it 75 millimeters and click OK. Now let's right click on sketch one in the contour flange one tree and share it. Now let's activate the Contour Roll tool. This dialog window has a few more options. First thing to do is select the profile. And then I select the axis. Here's the preview of the Contour Roll. Rolled Angle. Let's extend our roll to 135 degrees. Unfold Rule. In our case, it's set to the default K factor. For the Bend Radius, I've got the Bend Radius parameter selected. From this dialog window, we choose an unroll method. Centroid cylinder is currently selected, and let's click OK. Let's double click the contour roll and make some more changes. I want to change the axis, and click OK. Lastly, let's flatten our part. Looks good. Let's fold it back up. And this concludes our tutorial about the contour flange and contour roll tools.